Yo, how you doing guys? I hope you had a good day and I'm back with another video today and today I'm so excited. I'm really excited. I really hope you enjoy these 12 seconds of uh, my first ever attempt to make a b-roll and not just a b-roll but a live pouring of beer in a glass. This was absolutely insane. It took me around uh, probably one hour of preparation and filming and trying to find the best angle and uh, lights and everything and I know it's probably not the best but for a first attempt I'm so happy and I'm really really pleased with the results. So if you have any constructive uh, criticism it's cool is it yeah any comments anything feel free to fire up doesn't matter bad or good I want to learn so why I decide to make a b-roll first of all because I never did and uh, second because I said I'm gonna challenge myself uh, with a new creativity and new stuff and I want to kind of push this creativity keep going and keep me buzzing and one of the guy who I really like his work on YouTube, it's Daniel Schiffer, and I watch most of his videos, not all, but most of it. And I love the idea how it's doing uh, handheld, free handheld B-rolls, and it's doing absolutely epic stuff. I mean, if you never heard of Daniel Schiffer, you probably, I don't know, are you living on this planet or you just turn on the internet for the first time I don't know but if you never heard of Daniel Schiffer please go and check them because the guy is truly inspiration to learn and try new things so I'm not a filmmaker okay I'm a photographer and I never did any kind of a movies or filmmaking or any recordings and this was today absolutely brilliant so first of all I, I was thinking of uh, how long I wanted to be my uh, clip and I was thinking to be maximum 20 seconds not more than that in 20 seconds to put uh, quite few different angles of the camera and uh, show the product and make all this happening it was absolutely incredible so good now most of the people which I watch most of them they say you know pick up your music make the story and everything and of course I didn't listen I turn out everything and I just start upside down so I made first the videos and then I drop everything in Premiere and start cutting the scene which I wanted to keep then I find a piece of music and obviously cut more and more and more until I fit everything in 12 seconds so how I did this uh, I don't know it's very blurry now I'm watching uh, my editing and everything and uh, Seriously, I can't believe I pulled this off. But yeah, the, the first thing was uh, to obviously get a water and just do a trial run. As you can see, the first pour went all over and of course, that's why it's trial run. So the glass was a little bit off the place where it's supposed to be and I pour very fast. So I had to pour really slow for the next one and that was absolutely fantastic spot on and this was brilliant but then I needed a assistant because obviously I'm shooting with a camera handheld and I need somebody to help me and this is when I call my wife and she did absolutely brilliant job as you can see she's pouring here and I'm filming in the camera on the top just spinning down and going down just to follow the actual pouring of the beer, going to the glass, I wanted to make this kind of a nice spin to have some action. And then I move in the front when we pour a little bit of the beer and obviously I wanted to film the front pour. So we did another pour from the front. The beer, it's uh, the beer can. I will show you now actually the beer can. Yeah, that's the beer can. So, What's happened is uh, I got the beer can and uh, I cut it, yeah, and then I use, oh, what's happened here, yeah, so I use a, I use a light stand and uh, I use this uh, mini clamp, very nice, so mini clamp with a small clamp on the end, 
when I put the beer can and obviously clip like that it's it will be smashed now because I pretty much throw in the bin and then I realized I needed for this video so yeah this was on the stand with the right angle and everything so my wife just was pouring from another can using a funnel so we can control the pour slow and to go nicely not to have any splashes so I can go proper the pour and drop in the glass very effective a small nice clamp to do free pouring then the next step it was me in the front of the table she skipped pouring and I just did a slow kind of a bending down just filming and pushing back and that was uh, another shot so I had already from the top from the front and from the side so I needed now I did few more shots like different uh, but I end up not using them so here we go and finally I did uh, some sliding so I had the brand new can I had already the pint uh, full with the beer and I just did sliding using my kitchen towel so that's it with the kitchen towel just sliding back and that was absolutely fantastic nice and smooth who need a slider these days when you have a kitchen towel obviously obviously it wasn't level the shot so I had to level it in the Premiere Pro but uh, the kitchen towel did fantastic job and this is how this is how this bureau was filmed I know it's not showing much behind the scene but bear with me it's all new for me doing videos it's absolutely amazing feeling and uh, I have lots to learn and lots to take but as I say in the beginning I'm really happy with the final result I hope you like it guys and I hope it will give you some inspiration to try at home to do something like this try with whatever you can it's absolutely amazing to film this I really enjoy it seriously day three of uh, I'm not gonna call it even vlogging anymore because I'm just gonna create the stuff tomorrow I have something else in my mind but I need to do it in the morning I think because uh, the dates pass so quick and I don't realize and now at the, at the moment it's what time it is yeah it's nearly 10 o'clock so I'm rushing to upload in the in the right time to be every day constant uploading of something which I do so again if you never heard or if you never watched Daniel Schiffer make sure you find him and you see what epic b-rolls he's doing handheld I'm really grateful I found this guy and it's a, such an inspiration for uh, what I want to learn and also the clip it's uh, color graded with his uh, LUTs and they are absolutely fantastic and this is it guys for today I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you like uh, my first attempt to do a b-roll and keep upgrading my uh, little studio as you can see I put uh, I came today have brand new leather mat for all my keyboards and mouse new lighting underneath and some new lights behind with uh, my friend here the the skull uh, yeah looking good I really like it uh, so guys thank you for watching Make sure you like the video, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna do every single day something for a month. It's day three now and we're starting building up and it was absolutely fantastic learning something new today. I know I have much more to learn but it's just the beginning. So once again like, subscribe and follow for more cool creative things coming your way. For now I'm off. To edit this video so you can watch after bye bye